ladies and gentlemen. The subject of the lecture of today is destructive atomic power. Well, why atomic power came to us? During the Second World War, there was a race who would have the atomic bomb first, bombing Nazi Germany with it. But the collapse of the Nazi regime came too fast, and therefore USA and the President Truman bombed Japan with two atomic bombs against the will of the scientists. After the Second World War, the bosses of industry formed a new atomic industry with the idea that the atomic energy, which was used in a destructive way until these days, could be used peacefully, claiming that this would be possible without any danger, with atomic plants producing current considering a certain residual risk. Well, these atomic plants always had the same residual risk. When too many persons are committing a fault, at the same time the atomic reaction would be out of control. The reactor core is melting, and an indefinite quantity of radioactivity is getting free, contaminating entire territories and millions of human beings, damaging the genetic constitution and deforming children, animals, and plants. Therefore, atomic energy only functions whenever some person together commit any fault. As to this, atomic waste has to be tolerated. The politicians in the 1950s, these are only many, and most of them were smoking and drinking much alcohol and partly were absolutely incompetent, these so-called politicians thought that the idea of a peaceful use of atomic power would be brilliant, making propaganda for it, and there was hardly any resistance. All the crisis in 1933 was not a fact, so many governments were accepting atomic power totally, with the residual risk, for example, France and Japan. Demonstrations against atomic power were considered by the government as anti governmental, for example in Gürtel in Switzerland. And there was only one political party really reconsidering this problem of atomic energy and searching alternative forms of energy. This was the political party of the Greens in Germany. And from 1983 on, they were in the national parliament in Bonn with Petra Kelly, Jürgen Dittin and Joschka Fischer. But abroad, this atomic problem was not at all taken earnest. The arrogant upper class of the world was going on drinking whiskey and vodka, was going on smoking their cigarettes and listening to jazz in the nightclubs, having beautiful nights with feminine and kinky forms of flesh, and the responsible for energy questions should be the technicians only. This arrogant of worldwide upper class also did not stop with the core action of the in 1983. Other people thought it would be normal resigning to mushrooms for 300 years. This was just the residual risk of atomic power. And above all, this had been a re Russian reactor type, and in the Western world would never happen this. In this way, Western atomic lobby was affirming the public. But other facts of the core melt action in the Chernobyl were hardly or not at all published. Because after Perestroika, Belorussia was going on to be a dictatorship, never introducing free traffic passing the borders. The people affected by atomic rain in Belorussia stayed isolated and they were discriminated by the media of the country. There was a calm dying process over decades in Belorussia with many cancer diseases provoked by the radiation cloud and the radioactive rain of the coal melt accident in Chernobyl. And all this was hardly or not at all taken earnest abroad. Moscow government with Brezhnev even was executing cloud manipulations with the radioactive clouds coming down from Chernobyl, manipulating them so the rain came down before Moscow, therefore the region of Moscow itself was saved from radioactive rain and other regions before it got it. But this was reported to the world only in 2011. And also university professors hardly ever gave alarm. Only the political party, the Greens, the Grünen, in Germany, took really serious this economic problem. In Germany, finally, the Greens came to the government power since 1998 and were executing first alternative energy programs. But in other countries, the Greens had no chance for being in a government because the so-called democratic systems were hindering them and certain circles of right-wing parties, as for example the criminal screamer and noisy ghost from Schilder Strauss in Germany, calumniated the Greens always again and again as communists, saying the Greens are like a tomato, first they are green and then they are red. 
These criminal calumnations of the right-wing parties also were a big factor that many governments did not take earnest the political party the Greens or they had not the courage to take this party the Greens earnest. And then atomic power also got a new weapon development. Criminal USA under ex-alcoholic Bush was not only arranging new wars, but they also used new types of bombs with atomic uranium material contaminating entire territories in Iraq since 2003. And now these territories are contaminated for one million years and the genetic constitution of the population is damaged and now mentally handicapped and deformed children are born, for example, in Fallujah. Criminal USA are not ready to investigate what they have committed in Fallujah, but principally Iraq war with applied Iranian ammunition also is a core melt accident, for example, in Fallujah. Let's make a summary. First, atomic energy was a bomb, then atomic plants, and since Iraq war, again other bombs with atomic material, uranium ammunition. Well, there are more facts about atomic power which were concealed systematically. Listen, already winning the uranium is contaminating complete territories, converting them into prohibited territories for hundreds of years. The so-called nuclear process reprocessing of fuel rods is also contaminating territories and waters. In the region of atomic plants, there is a higher rate of leukemia. This is proved. A core melt accident converts a territory with a radius of 200 to 300 kilometers in a prohibited zone, devaluating it for centuries. Radioactive radiation clouds can get everywhere, contaminating and devaluating neighboring regions. And radioactive rain can come down everywhere, above all in rainy zones like Europe, converting the zones in prohibited territories for centuries. The treatment of the genetic damages and of the cancer diseases, respectively the treatment of the mentally handicapped and deformed children, costs billions, and also the failing manpower. Atomic waste with uranium will be actu actively radioactive for one million years, and the deposits will cost another time billions. And more dangers are coming in earthquake zones and tsunami zones, where should we build not one single atomic plant, because in the case of doubt, they can be out of control. By all this, we have the conclusion that atomic plant, first point, should not be built in earthquake zones, second point, should not be built on the coastline. And the third point should not be built in rainy zones, keeping the given range. That means that atomic plants should be in earthquake free desert zones only. And now comes the big end because the real work only comes at the big end. Listen. The controlled demolition of an atomic plant will last 24 or over 30 years, depending on the source. The damping of the fuel rods will last 5 years. The damping of a reactor core will last 50 years. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50 years. For example, the controlled demolition of the atomic plant of Rheinsberg in Germany costs over 500 million euro. These are the data from a journal about, German article about the controlled demolition of an atomic plant of Rheinsberg from Financial Times Germany online with the title The End of an Atomic Plant. Nuclear technicians have it melancholy from 19th of May 2011. Originally German, and eines Atomkraftwerks and can technically be mitigated. In face online media, for example, I never found such an article. And now comes the truth of the costs. When all factors with a core melt action and inclusive are considered, atomic power should cost. 10 times as much as today for accumulating the reserves of the controlled demolition, for the deposit of the atomic waste, and eventually also for the compensations for a core melt action case. This indicated an article of German NTV from 11th of May of 2011 with the title Responsibility for the case of the case is principally atomic power is unpayable. Original German, Hoffmann, Fülenfall, der Fälle, Kernkraft, eigentlich unbezahlbar. 
Well, in 2011 came the answer for the arrogance of smoking and drinking and fucking up classes. Japan was that corrupt that the atomic enterprise principally also was the government. Principally the government consisted in Tepco and Toyota. And this Japan, all in all, is one of the worst earthquake zones worldwide. But they even constructed some atomic plants on the coastline, thinking that a tsunami would not be higher than 10 meters of height. But just Japanese historians could prove the contrary. All 40 years comes a tsunami in Japan with over 10 meters of height, and some Japanese mayors even have constructed high protection walls, but not for the protection of the atomic plant. And precisely there in Japan, destiny was striking in 2011 with an incredible earthquake in combination with a tsunami of 14 meters and one of the many atomic plants on the coast was hit then. In this case, it was Fukushima 1. Today, we have a second Chernobyl there with burnt reactors, prohibited zones, radioactive fruits and vegetables, radioactively contaminated seaweeds, radioactively contaminated fish and shrimps, etc., etc. And the future does not look better. And also in this region of Fukushima will be the slow dying process as in the region of Chernobyl. Above all, there will be cancer, heart failure, and deformations. And only now, when a coroner's accident had happened also in the Western world, the problem was taken really serious in the media. The residual risk was not anymore a residual risk, but the risk was very high. Therefore, the word of the residual risk is a big lie. Generally, the conclusion is this one. Atomic energy is a trap. Where the political party, the Greens, exists, they have more voters now, for example in Germany and in Switzerland. Stupid right-wing propaganda against Green has no chance at all anymore. Add to this, Italy had great news in, the ca in, the, in this case because the Berlusconi government resigned to a comeback of, of programs for atomic plants. Congratulations! But other states, which even have no political party, the Greens, until today are going on with their atomic programs with the high risk of the atomic plants. These are USA, China, South Korea, Russia, France, Spain, Argentina, and so on and so on. Certain countries even mean that they really should have their first atomic plant. These governments have not realized yet that atomic energy is that trap. Leaving this atomic trap, some measures are needed which have been partly realized in Germany already. Courage is needed presenting the truth about the cost of atomic power, with the controlled demolition included, which lasts as long as the production of the current. Courage is needed to open the mind for renewable energies. These are solar energy, wind energy, geothermics, etc. Courage is needed for the installation of new sub subjects in the universities with the renewable energies and courage is needed for more science and further education. For 50 years, imagine, there was no science in alternative energies by the simple claim that solar energy would not be profitable. Well, who is not searching will not find anything. According to the news of German NTV of 11th of May 2011 with the news atomic power principally from payable, original in German, Atomkraftwerk eigentlich unbezahlbar, atomic power should cost 10 times the price, covering all risks with the core belt accidents inclusive. That means that atomic power principally is the most expensive existing form of energy. When the governments of the world will realize these data presented here respectively, when the governments of the world will realize the truth of costs, then they will look for other forms of energy at last, which partly are working in Germany already. Further education and courage are wanted. In Germany, an energy guide is published already with the title Germany Detecting Renewable Energies. Originally German, Deutschland, Erneuerbare Energien Entdecken. Where are listed and described all sites of alternative energies which exist already in Germany. Also, this article only came in German online media, this time in Spiegel Online, on 13th of May 2011. Thank you for your attention.